Let's head down now to the Hiller family midfield set with Joe Theismann. Joe? Hi, Colleen. Yes, I am. I'm here and happy to be here on the set once again. We're happy to also welcome former Irish football standout Troy Nicholas back to the campus, not only for Notre Dame Day, but for the school year as well. Troy was picked up by the Arizona Cardinals in the 2014 draft before completing his degree, and now he's back on campus to finish what he started. Troy, welcome back. You loved it hey, so thanks. much. Thanks. You decided to sort of take a little sabbatical <laughs> in the NFL, and now you're back uh, back to the University of Notre Dame. That's right. I just took a bit of an extended gap year, and uh, now I'm back as a ninth-year senior. So <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I love that a night. <laughs> Never thought of that. That's a something. Imagine there are a lot of people out there sitting now going, you know what? That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, you know. Why did you come back? Uh, you know, it's just it was just about finishing what I started. Uh, when I decided to go to the NFL in the first place, I uh, made a promise to my mother uh, that I'd come back and finish, and I made a promise to myself as well. Um, you, you know, it, it's an incredibly uh, you know special place, Notre Dame, and. Um, Having a degree from here is, is, is you know, incredibly important. Um, so, you know, it, it was a bit of a no-brainer. Always kind of planned on coming back, and uh, this uh, spring just, you know, kind of ended up working out. So, what did you miss most when you when you left? Yeah. I was going to say graduate, but <laughs> we're not quite there yet. But what did what did you miss most? I'd have to say uh, probably the the Notre Dame Brotherhood. I mean, there, there's nothing like it. Um, going in working out every day uh, with everyone and just kind of being, you know, very aligned um, with our goals, our values and everything. And it was just really special. I also miss being in, in the dorms. Uh, I was in Stanford Hall, um, one of the dorms that didn't have air conditioning. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it made us grow closer and I've got a lot. I would think further people. apart, to be honest with you. Yeah, you in that case, you know. <laughs> yeah no <laughs> doubt. Um, but yeah, you know, so I, I, I've got a, a lot of really good friends from uh, Stanford Hall and uh, we're still really close. So, you know, missing them this uh, semester, but you know. It's almost, like, it's almost like you left the family and you've come back home. Yeah. Is that the way you feel? Yeah, in a way, you yeah. know, with uh, welcome arms, you know. Yeah, so. why did you, why'd you leave early? Um, you know, it came down to uh, a lot of things. Um, it was a really difficult decision to make. Um, Definitely not one that we took lightly. Um, you know, it was a good draft to come out as a tight end. Uh, there's uncertainty uh, with our quarterback situation. Um, there, there's a lot of things at play, but the the big idea though was, you know, that you can always come back and finish your degree. Your uh, NFL career is is limited in time, um, and that was kind of the the big. The big factor, I think, is is that you know, yeah. with your body and and everything in the NFL, you, you know, you don't know how long it's going to be, and so you want to maximize that time. There are a lot of guys that there's a lot of guys that say that. Um, well, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to come out early and then I'll go back and get my degree, but they never really do. Uh, whether whether they have lengthy careers in whatever else they decide to do or they, they sort of lose that interest to try and get the education. I admire you very much for, you know, I'm sure your parents feel good about that too. It's like you made the commitment to your mom, so you're going to do it. Um, got, a, got a football question for All right. you. You're a receiver, okay? Well, how important or how difficult is it to find short quarterbacks in the pocket? <laughs> only because only because you were drafted in the second round by the Arizona Cardinals, which took a rather short quarterback, I guess you could say, with the first pick in this year, this year's draft. How tough is it for a receiver to find uh, um, a, a, an undersized guy? You know, it would be normal. <laughs> you know, we had Everett Golson here. Uh, you know, he wasn't a, a, a short guy, but he definitely wasn't a tall guy. Um, I think he was about six foot or something. Uh -huh. um, he, you know, that's the only experience I've had uh, catching uh, passes from a, a little, I guess, a shorter quarterback in perspective. It can be, uh, you know, it can be difficult, I guess, uh, you know, but if the ball is coming your way, you know, it's on you to catch the ball. I think it's, it's just harder for the, the quarterback, you know, 
It sounds like you want to go back and play for the Cardinals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, but, thank you. you. Know, yeah. Thanks so much for spending time with us today here on Notre Dame Day. It's great to have you back on campus for more than just in a short period of time.